If you look at the magazine explosions on Russian tanks, you'd think they were poorly designed, but what if I told you they're not? So for 50 years, the Warsaw Pact and NATO prepared for a land war in Europe. And during the Cold War, the main anti-tank threat wasn't missiles. It was the main guns of other tanks. So it made sense for Russian tanks to be physically smaller than their American counterparts because it made them harder to hit. The T-72 autoloader plays a huge role in catastrophic kills. But it also plays a huge role in making the tank physically smaller. New fresh from the factory T-72s are just a couple days away from the battlefield by rail. But new American tanks are an ocean away from the battlefield. American tanks like the M1 had to be better armored because if it got hit, you weren't getting another one. So if you think about it in context, Russian tanks were perfectly designed to be cheap to produce and small targets for enemy main gun rounds. But it's not 1985 anymore. Smart weapons like the Javelin don't care how small you are. The Russian tanks were well designed to fight in an era before smart weapons.